Welcome to my unboxing of the Rocat Savu. This is a mid-size hybrid gaming mouse, which I'm not exactly sure what hybrid means, but I guess we'll get to that later. Pro optic sensor. So this is using an optical sensor, not a laser sensor, but still capable of 4000 DPI. The DPI is, honestly, it's more of a factor if you're running a very high resolution screen or like a multi-monitor setup than anything else. Uh, because beyond that, really the, the, the accuracy of the tracking is more important than the DPI. Okay, button duplicator, easy shift plus. Okay, we'll figure out what that is later. Customizable lighting, multicolor, so you can change the lighting to whatever color you want. I guess that's what the rainbow here means. No sweat side grips, excellent. Rocat driver and macro presets for games, multimedia, and apps. Five plus two buttons, 12 functions via easy shift. Oh, okay, that sounds kind of neat. High quality components for solid build for long life. Okay, optical sensor, 12 mouse functions, Rocat easy shift, ultralight light system, drivers and macros. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up because Rocat is starting to get a lot of attention in North America. They haven't really been present here before, but they are now and people are really talking about it. So let's find out what all of the fuss is about. Optimum mid-size design with perfectly balanced weight. I do appreciate having adjustable weight on mice, but I understand that that's not everyone's preference. And while I, okay, okay, I should disclaim that because while I said I do like to have uh, adjustable weight, my actual favorite mouse does not have adjustable weight. So my second favorite mouse ever is the G9, and I haven't tried the G9X, so I don't, I don't know, but it's probably more of the same and it's good. Um, but my favorite mouse is actually the SteelSeries Akari Laser, which is not weight adjustable. So let's go ahead and have a look at the aesthetics of the mouse. So this is excellent grip material on the side here. You can tell right away, it's basically like sandpaper, but not uncomfortable. It's like rubber sandpaper. So you'll have, what it allows is for the sweat to sit in between the, uh, the bumps, so you can still maintain grip on it. And uh, it's not absorbent at all, but it should be pretty durable as well. It doesn't feel like the kind of thing that you could just scratch off easily. In terms of mouse buttons, you've got two here, so there's your backs and forwards, you've got your left and right click, you got your middle click, and let's find out what easy shift is. This is my Rocket ID card. It should be noted that it is not valid unless signed and needs an authorized signature. Also, this card is the property of Rocket Studios. Misuse is a criminal offense. <laughs> really? This is not a valid means of payment. Okay, this we knew. Register your personal ID using this card on our website. So I am going to take this and I'm going to put this in my wallet right now because, oh, no, my wallet's full of things like credit cards and identification. Okay, I guess I'll file that somewhere else. Okay, moving right along, easy shift. V actually kind of cool. So what it does here, these are all the default assignments. However, once you install the software, you can change them. So here, I'm going to demo on the mouse itself rather than, so left click, right click, okay. This is the easy shift button. So here, check this out. Browser forward, shift. Browser back, okay, so scroll up, scroll down, shift, volume up, volume down. So basically shift allows you to press this and then press any of these other buttons for different functionality. So they give you a map of the default assignments with no driver installed, but you can install the driver and you can change everything you want. They also give you some examples of what you might want to do and for example, Counter-Strike or WoW or Multimedia or Browser or whatever else the case may be. I think it would take a little while to get used to, but once you do, you could actually effectively have far more buttons on your mouse than you than you actually have, which is sort of neat. Okay, so the sensor can deliver 400, 800, 1600, or 4000 DPI. Optimized tracking that fits any style. Also has an ultra 2D incremental step wheel for perfect control during weapon changes and other critical decisions. Let's see. Yeah, feels pretty solid. Okay, I'm down. High quality build. Ah, yes, more German engineering. Excellent. So this goes along with our theme of German engineering in our unboxings today, which included the Be Quiet Dark Power Pro, that, that Dark Power, Pro Power Supply and my rabbit. German engineering. Okay. Let's have a look at the mouse itself physically. So you got your slippy pads on the front and the back. You got your optical sensor right there. In terms of the size, they're calling this a mid-size mouse. I'd say this is more on the smaller side. Uh, I have pretty small hands and this is a very, very comfortable size for me. Uh, in terms of the grip, I'd say it's somewhere between, you can palm it if you want, but what you'll find is I think your pinky will fall off a little bit. So you might want to uh, claw it 
and I don't think it's really suitable for fingertip, although you could probably do it because it's got enough of a contour here and enough of a contour here that you could probably get away with it. Uh, but I'd say this is more of a claw grip than anything else uh, in terms of how it's most naturally used. The top is, is a little bit more smooth but still grippy compared to the sides where it's more like that sandpaper finish. And the overall comfort is pretty good actually, like I'm, I'm liking it. I don't quite like the positioning of these, I wish they were a little bit lower, but um, they're still, once you actually put it down, they're very reachable and it's not going to interfere with your ability to use the mouse otherwise, even if you're holding down one of them as a shift. So I think that pretty much covers it. You know what, we should plug it in and check out the lighting effects actually. Just to see. I think it's blue by default. Let's just plug this in. There you go. Actually, I'm going to go turn off the lights so that you can... Here, we'll put it next to the Corsair M60 so you can see what a mouse with lighting effects looks like compared to a mouse without lighting effects. If you aren't already aware of what a mouse with lighting effects looks like. Well, it's kind of neat. So in the driver, you should be able to configure things like the colors, pulsation, and all that good stuff. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Rokat Savu. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.